Hey guys, I've got the crab pots with me and I'm out here on the mud flats making my way past the fence and around the corner and hopefully I should find a nice creek to drop these pots. I've only got two pots for this bit because I can only carry that much but it's just amazing to see how um, how remote and just vast this mud flat is. Okay, I made it to the creek. So it's low tide right now, which is perfect for setting the pots. Look at that. Oh, jeez. Look, I just fell down a bloody mud crab hole there. Here's another one here. That's quite deep. So I'm actually quite confident seeing those two holes that we should get one right here. So I'll drop the first pot. Nice, this is a good spot. There's a few footprints coming through here, which isn't good, but little uh, little inlets here and stuff. Crabs love it, so I might chuck the second one just in here. Yeah, something should be crawling out of this right here. It's perfect. Alrighty, second pot's in, and now I'll drop the third one back right around the other side of this creek. Um, it's a little bit of a walk. Right. I came running over just to see if there's anything that's been trapped in the water. Sometimes the big tides bring in turtles or stingrays and they get trapped in here. I don't see anything. It looks pretty uh, lifeless to me. It's always worth a check while I'm out here. You never know, you might find something really cool. Anyway, back to put out this third pot. It's like walking on Mars or something, or the moon. It's like a different planet. It's so remote, so barren. Third pot's gone to my secret location. It's my lucky spot. So let's see if I can get a crab third time in a row in this spot. Okay, I'm back to check the pots this morning. It rained all night last night, so I think that's a good thing when you're crabbing. Rain brings them out, I'm pretty sure, so I've got high hopes. And I guess we'll check these first two and see how we go. He's only about 14 and a half. They gotta be 15. Damn it, he's so close. He hasn't got the biggest claws though. Just a few millimeters off, but we don't keep them unless they're exactly 15. So we'll pop this guy back. Yeah. Ah. Nah, he's only 13 and a half. We'll put him back too. Before he gets me, he's trying to claw me. Go on, mate.
Okay, let's check the second pot. There's the second pot, I can just see it. Man, I hope I got a big one in there. Oh. Moment of truth. Oh, we got one, it's just too small. Okay, well we got one, but it's just a little Jenny. Oh. So it's just a small little female. Now, if you've got females in your pot, leave them in there because they attract the male. So that's got bait and it's got a Jenny. I'll throw it straight back in. Back in. I hate when you get down to the, the final pot and you know, if you haven't got something in there, then you don't have lunch. So hopefully. We got four mud crabs and I think two of them could be legal. Yes. We got one big guy there. That's that's a that's probably legal. Then we got this big dude, that huge guy, and then the little fella there. That is like the best I've ever. I usually don't haul in more than like one or two. And we got four. Three maybe legal, one definitely legal. I'm gonna bring the pot up here and we can sort them out up there. I'll bring back the ones that are undersized. Holy shit! Okay, these two are the legal ones, I think. He's definitely far out. Whoa. I just stepped on that one. One there, one there, one there, one there. Okay, I'm gonna get the big guy first. Got him. Easy. Big guy's well, well over 15. We'll chuck him in the, in the bucket. That's the big guy. Okay. Make sure I don't step on any. It's all right, big fella. There you go, nice and safe. All right, next fella. Gonna get this guy in. He's lost a claw, so that's not that's probably not too good. Oh, I might take him if he's legal. Let's just test him. Easy 15 two. Okay, second one in the bucket. Please don't fight guys. Oh shit. Okay. Oh my God. This one's 15 as well. See, the side of his body has been snapped off, so he's already got an injury. He's definitely 15 though. Like that measured 14, that broken bit. I think we're gonna keep him as well. This little guy. I'm not even gonna measure this one, I'm putting him back. He's crazy. Not measuring this guy, he looks pretty small. His nippers are tiny anyway, so I'd say he's undersized. Oh, it's a female. Okay. I was chucking it back anyway, so yeah, it's a little angry female. There you go. In Queensland, we put females back, even if they're legal size, um, and we only take males. And it's pretty much the end of the season. So getting those last three, that's insane, like, usually I wouldn't take three, but we're not gonna be getting mud crabs for, till um, September, so. I reckon those three keepers, um, and I can cook them up. So insane, biggest haul I've ever got of crabs in one pot. Thanks for your food, guys. Appreciate it. Let's cook up these crabs. Mm. Well, I don't know if I can eat both of these. Actually, I might put that one back. And we can just cook up this big fella. That's a big claw.
Okay, we'll bring this to the boil and I'm putting the crab in whole. Simple recipe today. Just gonna be using a lemon and cooking it straight in the pot. Okay, that's gonna take a little while to, um, to boil, but if you're always wondering why I use the butane gas stove and I haven't been making any fires recently, it's because where I live, we actually have like a huge fire ban because it's really, really dangerous sort of lighting fires when everything's so dry. A little while back, I actually tried to make a vid and I started a fire in the bush and it just started catching to, um, to all the crap on the ground and started burning and I nearly burnt the whole bush down. Fuck. But luckily I controlled that fire and pretty much since then I haven't really been making fires just been using the butane gas stove keeping it safe but I mean it does the trick too there's a big eagle over there man there's so many eagles around this spot it's awesome yep Ooh. it's finally boiling alrighty I'll pick you big fella Alrighty. Ah. Okay. Oh, look at him go red already. Yum. Sun's just perked out. Crab's cooking up, smelling good. Let's check it out. Sick little rope swing the kids made. That's cool. Oh my gosh. The weather's been so bipolar today. It's crazy. Mm. This crab is so full. It's exploding with meat. Far out, mate. Where the fuck did you? Oh, that dog scared the shit out of me. I think it's the man with the axe again. Look at all that delicious white meat. Wow. I seriously ate every single little scarec of that crab right there. Even the little legs, you can get tiny bits of meat out between it. They're the sweetest bits. But I think that wraps up episode nine, guys. I'm so happy that I got a big bunch of mud crabs before the season ended. Super stoked on that. Thanks for watching guys. If you want to see more little pics and videos, follow me on Instagram at underscore Nick Fry. And if you liked what you saw today, subscribe to the channel down below. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Keep an eye out for it because it's going to be a really cool one. See you guys.